to represent my country, it's, it's an honour and blessed to, to wear the jersey and represent the island that I was born and raised. I'm very honoured, I'm very humbled to represent my nation, my heritage. Everything I did growing up, that's what I represent, my parents, my family, most importantly, the players I play alongside. I think the family always want to come back. That's always going to be in our blood. We always want to come back into our motherland. Tucked away in the South Pacific is our home, the Kingdom of Donga, a small group of islands with a rich heritage and culture that leaves an indelible mark on anyone who's visited her shores or connected with her people. The only Polynesian country in the Pacific that was not colonized or taken over by a foreign power, the Kingdom of Donga has cultural traditions and values that have tied its people together for centuries. Port on the main island of Tongatapu with a large crowd of people for the arrival of the Mate Maatonga or Die for Tonga National Rugby League team. Many of these boys arriving have never set foot in Tonga, but now they're returning to their roots to represent Tonga on the international stage. As their plane arrives, they're awaited by members of parliament, government ministries, fellow teammates, and the large crowd outside. Though these boys play for different teams overseas, they have come together and form an instant bond with their shared heritage. People from every village in Tongatapu have come to share in the celebration of their visit and the pride that the country has for them. It's the beginning of what will be a very busy week for these players, entertaining citizens, meeting with the media, visiting schools, and training together as a team. Everything begins here. All the hopes and aspirations begin in the mind of every child attending their local village school. They look to their heroes who have traveled the world to battle on the rugby field. They want to be like them. They want to share in the pride that they have for their home. Uh, my name is William Hopoate. I was born and raised in, in Australia. Um, I'm grateful to be back here where I'm from and to represent you. Um, thank you for your support of Atom. I grew up in, 
in New Zealand, but you know, my parents, they're, they're from, from Tonga and that's my heritage and um, you know, I'm just, you know, I know we can do something special with this group of boys that we have. I just want to do my parents and my family proud for all Tongans. Uh, on our way here from the airport, just the, the amount of support that, um, that the people here have followed us. Um, and that, that shows why I wanted to come back, just because of that. And how much the people do love their country. It's truly humbling, um, you know, and proud to come back and, you know, see obviously where it all started with our parents and, um, you know, getting to know where you where you come from, where your roots are. And just first of all, I was born here and raised here in Tonga and, and for myself to come back here is a, is a real, real privilege to come back and, and humble myself down to how I grew up and always remember the roots and, and my family as well. The thing that really caught me the first time that I, uh, I did come with, uh, with the team was just the passion and the pride that the people have got uh, in these players and uh, the excitement that these players bring to this country. And, and Just to you know, come back to see you know, where, where it all began for my family, for my parents and grandparents, uh, to see the, the smile and uh, the waves from, from the people here. Uh, you know, where we represent them and uh, everyone that's Tongan, whether they're here or Australia, New Zealand, America, we, uh, we represent them. The biggest word that comes into it is um, how proud and passionate we are as Tongans that, um, you know, we love our people, we love our country and most of all we love God too, so that's probably the main one, so yeah. One of the most important parts of this journey is the physical preparation. To put our little nation on the map, the team must undergo every effort to be world class physically and mentally. To die for Tonga is to leave everything one has on the field. Many have said that this is one of the best collection of players to wear the Mate Ma Tonga jersey. The expectations and hope for these players are very high and there's no opportunity better than the present to make everything count. Representing a small country means that every effort is made to raise the funds necessary to help the team succeed in international competition. A number of businesses got together in the kingdom for this event and each paid in excess of a thousand paanga each to attend. Many businesses contributing much more to help the cause. There's few places on earth where a whole nation of people living in Tonga and even Tongans living abroad come together. That is one of the unifying powers of a sport like rugby, but it's amplified even more by a nation of people whose life in the land is given to God. It was King Siausi Tupo I, who in a prayer given in Bo'ono Vava'u, grabbed soil from the ground, threw it in the air, and declared that he would give his land and his people to God 
and to no one else. It is this declaration and symbolic tradition that has bound every Tongan back to these islands. This is what has brought these players back. This is what brings every Tongan around the world back, whether physically or in spirit, that God and Tonga are my inheritance. Koi Otua Motonga Kahokotofia. When I hear that phrase, I think that's that's the motto for every Tongan. Um, everything we inherit, everything we live by, everything we do in our life. Um, I think it's important for every Tongan to live by their motto. Uh, I think as a professional athlete, um, you know, if it wasn't for God, I don't think I'd be um, doing what I do right now. And um, you know, you always, I think, just got to keep him at the, I guess, the centre of you. I think that's pretty much the, the, the blood that's running through my veins uh, is, is, is God and, 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 and Tonga. I think one thing that I love about uh, being here is everyone's a God-fearing people. Oh, it's, um, you know, I've said before, I've played for Australia, um, but it's not the same than when you play with your own people. It's just completely different. You know, I'm not saying it's bad to play for Australia. It's the, it's the pinnacle to play for one of them top teams. But when you play for your country, it's so much different. And watching your son represent your country yeah, is even better. It's just my dream. One day that my son and uh, my grandson will represent Tonga. Yeah, I know for all of these guys, it's all about family and wanting to represent the nation. And um, yeah, there's a lot of guys that have made, it's very, been very well publicised. There's a lot of guys who've made decisions to not play for other teams or other countries. And, yeah, it's incredibly brave. Uh, they're playing for the right reasons, and as I said, they're playing for family, and they're sacrificing a lot of things to do so. So, um, you know, I think we've got a terrific group there, um, you know, both as players, but more importantly as young men uh, who've, who've been willing to make some brave decisions. And uh, I think they're going to do Tonga very proud, and they're, they're, they're men that everyone should be very proud of.